New this morning, growing concerns about hearing loss among millennials as well as Gens X, Y, Z, and Alpha. I didn't even know there was that many. <laughs> <laughs> the reason, the wearing of earbuds and how they're used. Headphones and earbuds are distracting. Some people don't pay attention when they be walking across the street and they got some things in their ear. And they can be a bit antisocial. My coworker every morning, I have to wait to her to say good morning. The real danger is inside the ear canal where earbuds live. If you listen to music like super loud, I'm sure it messes up your hearing. How loud do you listen? All the way. The pounding volume is the sound of your hearing life shortening. We tend to use them to overcome other noises like snowblowers or lawnmowers, which Dr. Paul Scaleri at South Hills ENT says you have to limit. If it's 90 decibels, which is the sound of a lawnmower, you want to keep it under two hours. Dr. Philip Perez of UPMC says it's a dangerous noise battle. Especially people at the gym where there's music that's already playing in the background and they've got their own earbuds in, they're playing their own music, and you're turning up the volume higher and higher to hear what you want to hear. The doctors say take some breaks. If you can, take them out for a little while to give your ears a little breathing room. What seems clear to these ear experts, without moderation, every current generation is heading for some kind of ear trouble. And it's really going to be decades down the line that we're going to see more issues with hearing and some of the residual effects of that permanent hearing that we think is from the volume being turned up too loudly. Now, a young person's hearing is capable of some recovery. The only problem is there's no way to define the line where we go from possibly being able to recover to being permanently damaged. Okay, so here's a good question for you. What about sleeping with those earbuds in? Because a lot of people are guilty of that. Yeah, well, they like to do it because, you know, they can go to sleep better. It's better not to do it, to let your ears breathe, as the doctors were saying. But if you do, Dr. Scaleri says try to limit it to not more than eight hours. I guess it means set an alarm to wake up to take them out. There you go.